Hey there guys, how are you doing on this lovely day? Today I wanted to show you my Lawbringer build in For Honor. And yeah, as you can see, I took some effort into this, or I put some effort into this. And uh, I think I did a pretty good job at uh, choosing armor and the, the colors well it's it's mostly black so obviously it's it's not a huge uh, a thing it's not huge effort put into this but um yeah i i thought i would since i uh, i've been playing for honor the last few weeks and season five just started i thought i would well it would maybe be nice to show you how exactly i build my Lawbringer and what kind of build I follow. So um, we'll go through everything real quick and then I will explain a bit why I choose or chose those things. So as you can see I'm level 180 with my gear, that's max level at the moment. I doubt that I will be increasing that anytime soon. So yeah, as you, I will show you all the stuff. It's my helmet, the chest, the shoulder plates, like arms. Those are especially cool in my opinion because they're fucking, they're fucking spikes. It's amazing. Yeah, my my blade. Well, not really play my axe. It's a spear axe after all, and a shaft. Yeah, and um, let's look at the stats, shall we? As you can see, um. I've been building s s kind of a ga anti gank build because that's the thing that mm, that happens in those modes where um, you know gear rank is activated. It mostly it's it's normally I think it's only four v four. Well, I mean there are some special events which um, activates that for duels as well, but that's. That's special stuff that, that doesn't count really. And um, yeah, because in 4v4 you will, will often encounter gangs and seeing as the Lawbringer is pretty good against the gangs, um, I decided to do a gang or anti-gang build. Um, you gotta think of it though that, um, you gotta, or you gotta take in, into consideration that anti-gank builds are not as effective anymore they they've been nerfed and well they are not as powerful anymore so it's even harder to get uh, to win against multiple people at the same time but um, well that's okay I guess it's more rewarding that way so as you can see um, on my high executioner helm I um, didn't really care about debuff resistance because I think it's just useless that overall. I don't. I, I honestly don't think that it's very good. And the exhaustion recovery is very important. And if, especially if you're getting, you know, attacked by a lot of like some other lawbringers or um, co or, or a centurion, you know, it's or, or conqueror. Some classes that are um, just draining your stamina. That's why exhaustion recovery is pretty important in my opinion. And of course defense. Yeah. The uh, the chest I put on the I put only defense because I you know thought that it was the most important thing in of those three. Uh, the revenge mode defense may be also important, but I decided to go for defense since it's overall also very useful outside of ganks and the revenge mode duration i actually did not want to upgrade because i thought that it should not last very long because if it doesn't last very long um it doesn't matter how long it lasts because your your shields that you get your defense your extra life points they will get depleted very very quickly because you are getting attacked from all sides and um, the sooner you um, lose your revenge mode or the sooner your revenge mode stops uh, the sooner you can get get it again the sooner you can refill that uh, revenge meter again and get more life again so that's why i decided to um, 
not upgrade that or use anything that upgrades that. Um, it might be even a good idea to decrease that on purpose, but um, yeah, that's that that's questionable. I don't know if if that's good. I have to test it. Um, my arms, well, I've got a bit of everything: defense, stamina, cost reduction, stamina regen. I think those are all very important stats. So I uh, just decided to go with every one of those. Uh, my my X, I also did did the same thing pretty much. I did go for a bit of attack, defense, penetration, and block damage because I thought those were all um, useful but not extremely important so that um, so that I would have to choose one of those. Uh, my shaft is attack and execution health of regen. Revive speed is pretty much... Well, I don't really care about re revive speed because n normally it's normally probably pretty good for most classes or for every class except for the Conqueror because the Conqueror can revive other people very quickly anyway. But uh, for every other build revive speed is probably very important or probably pretty good. But for this kind of build it's just not really going to happen or not really good. So I went to attack and execution health regen which is probably the one of the most important things for this build i will explain why later because yeah i i will i will explain it in a, in a second uh, lion's raw spike yeah i went to attack and revenge gain because gaining revenge is fast is very important revenge mode attack is probably also important i was thinking about switching the attack bonus for um, revenge mode attack which is probably better, but I don't know yet. I have to I have to test that out and see how it goes. But I thought for now I thought that having normal attack is just more valuable in most situations. So yeah, those are my stats. And let's go to the abilities of feats. If I'm playing Dominion or Domination or whatever the mode was called, I of course used Conqueror just because it's pretty damn good and um, it just can help you out a lot in my opinion. Uh, if I'm not using uh, or if I'm not playing Dominion I'm using Harsh Judgment just because I think it's it can make a difference, it can be pretty good against like single targets. Um, body count is Nah, I think it's useless. I don't really use it that much. It's probably okay, but I never really felt like I needed it, especially seeing as as, as I have second wind. Uh, I, as second, I use Juggernaut always because it's so good against ganks. Um, if I'm playing Elimination, I may be maybe using Righteous Deflection, but uh, just maybe, and especially seeing as you. Um, cannot get a guaranteed guard break of a parry anymore in season 5 uh, it's not as good anymore I don't think it's worth it to be honest well actually no it's parry to gain high damage reduction for a short time well I just read that wrong well I, I just don't think that that's I, I don't think it's good I I, I I the bomb is also not very good I prefer Jarion out just because it gives you so much defense and that's just something that you want if you're getting ganked. Yeah, of course, um, second wind is the third one. Because having something that can heal you very quickly and second wind heals like half of your HP or something like that. It's pretty good. It's pretty pretty damn good. Um, yeah, the bomb is okay. Protected revive. I, like I said, for most other builds it would probably be okay. But, well, but uh, nah, I don't think so. I... I, I Second wind is just so important, just so important to have that, especially because the recovery time is not that high. So uh, yeah, and as last thing I use Igneous Ball Imma, um, just because if you get revenge and use the dead bombs, it's uh, extremely effective, it just kills, it just does so much damage, it just obliterates your fucking enemies. Uh, catapult does the same thing, but it just, and it does it slightly more damage, but the thing with Catapult is, it takes much more time to recharge and that's not worth the trade-off in my opinion. Regenerate is good but 
for this kind of uh, build it's completely useless those are the um, feats i of course i won't be looking at the emotes and effects i mean i'm i'm using for idle i'm not using anything because i think hellfire and all that, that stuff just looks kind of stupid in idle and yeah executions i just use hellfire and free roam and combat also because i think it looks pretty cool uh yeah but that's 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 all your stuff i don't <laughs> just do whatever you want i um yeah um executions you might be thinking yourself um why did i take the x the uh regeneration from execution why do i think that it's so important to have that well as the uh, you, you see most um executions take a long time until the enemy is uh dead or is executed and can't be revived and you get healed um so this 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 for example backbreaker it takes long like you see the animation starts here and it takes whole time and now he's dead and you get healed now he can't be revived and you get healed same thing here it just takes long and now you get healed and he's executed and that's the good thing about the impaler you see animation starts dead it's so fucking quick so so if you're getting ganked and attacked from all sides this is most likely going to get interrupted after the enemy got executed and you got healed so that's extremely good like i think you have to buy for five thousand or seven thousand steel but it's really worth it if you're doing an anti-gank build because for example this one start of the animation and it that's also not very long long shots probably also good but this for example you see it takes so long until now that's the point where he gets executed and it can't be revived and you get your health and so this this is just extremely good in those situations where you are getting ganked and a lot of people don't take that into consideration but if you kill someone while you're getting ganked they will just revive them they they, they will just revive them so you didn't win anything and with the impaler you can uh, you can deny that reviving so if you are doing an anti-gank build definitely go for the impaler it's extremely good well and yeah as my ornament i was using this those are only just what i'm telling now is only just side information they, those are not very important those are just design technical stuff um i decided to go with this one because i i was going with this one but i thought that it after a while i just thought it doesn't really fit the design of my new lawbringer so i just went for this instead because it just makes more sense i think it just looks better uh, you unlock that by doing the night story on realistic it's not that hard especially if you have a core partner it's um fairly easy doable and um i do not have any mask and uh, i will tell you why because i think the masks they i mean that that for example it's nice it's okay this one looks kind of goofy and it also goes through my armor it just clips through that which mm, probably just not optimized for a lawbringer and um that one well yeah that looks fucking ridiculous it's just so that just looks fucking terrible so that's why i don't really use the masks i i think they all the, the most most of the time they clip through the armor and i don't think that they look very good and especially they they, they are especially not justified by fifteen thousand or twenty thousand steel i just don't think that that's a thing that i will be doing um my armor is of um, is made of silver uh i've been using bronze for a while but yeah and i will probably stay with silver because black iron that kind of looks just i don't know i don't like the texture it just looks badly texturized and gold well gold can probably be very fancy it actually looks pretty nice especially with the golden um, parts of my uh, spear axe so that i might use that but i'm still fairly far away from that like reputation 9 level 20 i'm reputation 7 level 16 now so that's going to take a while yeah but that's my uh 
that's my law bringer um i hope i could help some of you guys because i know that for honor can be very rough especially for new players and especially now with that season five has started i see that there are a lot of new players picking this game up which is great because i think it's an awesome game uh with a lot of problems though uh but yeah they they, they the developers they have, they have been really doing quite a lot of work and i will prop will definitely be streaming this game as well um yeah so that's it for this video guys i hope i could help you or i could have, I hope i could help some of you and um yeah i think i just i just love the lawbringer he's just so cool he's just my favorite hero he's just so fucking cool he's not he's not the best there are some certain matchups especially against centurion where he just fucking gets annihilated but uh i don't know he has a special place in my heart so as always thank you guys very much for watching i really appreciate everything i appreciate every sub like every little comment and um yeah Take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.